Oh no, we got another telephone book. Not another one. Yes, that makes seven phone books if you include both white and yellow pages. I can't believe it. I thought I signed up on the opt-out list when we moved in here. I think you're right. You did opt out of receiving phone books, but they seem to keep coming. Damn. What can we do? I guess we can just toss this new one on the fire. No, at least we should recycle them. But it's incredible, don't you think? I haven't used a phone book in, well, I don't know when the last time was. I think I sat on one to make a high chair when I was a kid but ever since the internet has come along there is no need for them. If I ever need a number I just look it up online. There must be a reason they keep coming. I'll tell you the reason. Money. The telecommunications companies must make a bundle to have these delivered to us. It's got to be billions or they wouldn't bother. Billions? Yes, billions. Wow, I'd never really thought about it like that. I just see them as a nuisance like any other unnecessary part of society and go on my way. But now that you mentioned it it's really something that should stop. Yes, you mean because of all of the temperate rainforest that keeps being clear cut to make them? Well, there's that. Oh, you mean all of the effort it takes to turn the wood into paper and make the books? Well, there's that. Oh, you mean all of the gas that's burned in trucks that idle in front of every house in the country multiple times a year so that this block of wood can be taken and thrown out or recycled? Well, there's that. Oh, you must be referring to the millions of dollars and probably billions of dollars that cities, municipalities, counties and other entities must pay to have the phone books taken away to the landfill or recycling centers of the country? Well, there's that. Well, what then? I've mentioned the obvious ones of clear-cutting our forests, the poisonous effort that is making paper, the waste of gas spent delivering the useless things and the cost to our local governments. If that's not enough what have I missed? I was just testing you. What? I was just testing to see how well you understand the depth of the problem. Hectares huh? Well, what do you want to do about it? It's easy to complain, but do you think there's anything we can do about this problem? It's not like phone books haven't been banned in some places. Heck, I even hear that the phone companies themselves are starting to balk at printing white pages because they don't make any money by giving them away. You know, I think we need a new system. I can understand that there are probably pockets of people who still depend on phone books, but certainly not everyone. You're right. How about a system where individuals and businesses could decide to opt into having a phone book if they wanted one? That way the people who wanted phone books could have them and everyone else would be saved the hassle of dealing with them and societies would save money and the environment by not having them in the waste stream. That sounds like a great idea. In fact, I believe there is going to legislation in the upcoming legislative session in the state of Oregon which proposes just that. You're kidding. No, I'm not. To learn more you and your friends can visit the website listed here and help end something that should have stopped a long time ago, or start up your own effort to get rid of phone books. For help, contact the Product Stewardship Institute which works on this type of issue. Why does good change have to take so long? I don't know. I really don't. Well, at least this will be a step in the right direction. True. True.